Stevens in this morning. TJ is too. We'll check in with him in a little bit. He is. Well, we'll, we'll keep it a surprise. You'll see where he is in a couple minutes. Uh, but uh, a weather dependent event weekend once again this yes, weekend. and a Stephen. very big weekend. A lot of events going on, yes. of course, across the area. We have, you know, not a washout, but definitely some shower chances in the forecast. Uh, looking at Newport Harbor, we're looking dry right now. Temperatures in the 70s. We have a heat advisory once again in effect for this afternoon. That's for feels like temperatures away from the shoreline in the mid to upper 90s. So here is that heat advisory. Again, it's for this afternoon. And now Saturday afternoon as well, it has been included and extended uh, for another day. These feels like temperatures. Best chance of seeing these uh, mid to upper 90s in the orange area, of course. That includes Kent County, Providence County, and all of Bristol County and Mass. Temperatures, low 70s right now, will be well into the 80s later on this afternoon. Again, factoring in those dew points, they're in the 70s, some upper 60s. This is very tropical like air, so. Again, when you factor that in during the heat of the day in the afternoon, it'll feel a lot warmer. Live radar nice and quiet. Again, not expecting a whole lot of activity for today. Maybe a spot shower or storm during the afternoon across northern areas. That's really about it. Threat tracker today and tomorrow staying in that medium category because of the heat advisory. You know, find ways to stay cool, stay hydrated. Of course, uh, during the afternoon hours, if you're going to be out and about. Muggy meter going forward next few days. Notice these dew points staying in the 70s right through Sunday. Then they finally drop off as we go into next week. We should get some relief from the heat uh, with temperatures actually back into the 70s, believe it or not, as we go into that seven day forecast. So satellite and radar, we have our next weather system off to the west frontal boundary, the low pressure here. And this is going to be slowly making its way eastward. It's going to be giving us a few shower chances, not only Saturday, but also as we go into Sunday as well. So although I don't see a washout this weekend, certainly some shower chances in the forecast for both days. Now let's time things out going through today. Of course, here's 11 a.m. looking at temperatures well into the 80s some sunshine, some clouds around as we go into the afternoon hours. Here's that shower storm chance across northern areas. That's the best chance of seeing a, a, some activity later on today. Then we all get in on some action later on tonight with some showers and storms passing on through. It's not going to be a big deal, but certainly could make, uh, maybe, you know, make for some rumbles of thunder out there and uh, even some heavier bursts of rain at times. Then as we go into Saturday, notice the gray on the screen. This is 7 a.m. Lots of clouds around, some early morning fog. Temperatures in the 70s rising quickly back into the 80s. By the afternoon, we should see a little bit of sunshine at times, and I do think that'll help warm things up once again, which is why that heat advisory is in effect uh, for our Saturday afternoon. Feels like temperatures well into the 90s, and again, looking at quiet conditions for the most part on our Saturday, but certainly can't rule out a couple passing showers at times uh, during the day. Now, best chance of showers and storms this afternoon, again, across northern areas, across Providence County, northern Bristol County as well. And then as we go into today's forecast, again, most of us stay dry, partly cloudy, muggy, humid temperatures well into the 80s to near 90 during the afternoon. Bay forecast looking quiet as well. Waves one to two feet. Southwest wind shifting south about five to ten knots and a high tide occurs later on this morning uh, just before 7 a.m. Beach forecast also not too bad uh, looking at dry skies and the low rip current risk. Seven day forecast for you. Again, shower chances continue for Saturday and Sunday and into next week. Temperatures, though, fall back in the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. Of course, that full seven day on our website at WPRI.com.